So let's start off by creating a few software instrument tracks. Let's click here, software instrument tracks, and I'm gonna do four, create. Okay, here we go. And what I wanna do, let's start off by going here. And these are some of the presets I've already created myself. And I'll show you that, and then I'll show you how I went about it. You go here, and the first thing I wanna do is Alicia's keys. If I click on that, what loads up now is contact and the Alicia Keys plugin. Now, if I was to double click on this, there we go, already set up and ready to go. Okay, how about this one? If I went here and I went to settings and I went to chic bass, once again, contact loads up and my bass plugin is ready. If I was to open it up, you'll see here. Now that saves me the task of, let's say I wanted to load up a another contact plugin on this empty track. I'd need to go to instruments, audio instruments, native instruments, contact, stereo, open that. Then I'd need to scroll all the way down to say, um, this here, open that up, that there, before I can get my bass instrument up, okay? By creating your own presets, it's absolutely brilliant in terms of time saving. Now these are all audio units plugins, which um, you won't get in Logic. How about something from Alchemy? If I go here, in fact, if I go to settings and I go to Alchemy Bright Pad, there we go. If I was to click here and you'll see my al alchemy um, bright pad loaded up. All right, so how to do this? Let's create a few more software instruments. Let's go four more. I'm gonna go to this one and I'm gonna show you how to create a channel strip preset for something in contact. So let's say for example, we loaded up audio instrument, um, native instruments, contact, stereo, Okay, and I don't know, maybe something like uh, uh, the piano, upright piano. We go in here. Let's choose the wonder kind preset. Load that up, and that's that's in place. Okay, I could even make some adjustments to all of these parameters, but the main thing is it's loaded and it's good to go. Now all I need to do is go to setting save channel strip setting as, and let's say wonder kind, save, and let's go, let's close that. Let's go to, oh, in fact, what I wanted to do as well, I've just remembered, I wanna put an icon on there. So I'm gonna right click here, and I'm gonna go to keyboards, upright piano, and that's in place. I'm gonna go back in, to the channel strip setting and I'm going to resave, save channel strip setting as, keep the same name, save, replace. Okay. Now then we move to the next empty uh, software instrument track and we go to setting and we're going to go to wonder kind. There we go. All sorted, saved and ready to go. Okay. Now that's for um, a third party plugin set. How about for a Logic uh, plugin set preset? If we click on an empty instrument track, software instrument track, and let's say we loaded up something like the vintage piano. Okay, let's load something up here. Um, I don't know, a stage piano mark two, mess around with this. Let's push this all the way up to um, 18 dB, pull this all the way down to minus 18 dB switch the chorus off, switch the tremolo off, leave the rest on, okay? Now we're not saving it in here within the actual um, uh, plugin itself. Let's see what happens. Let's change the icon. Let's put something else on, I don't know, put this one on, okay. And now we are going to save channel strip setting as, and we're gonna do uh, test electric piano, save. OK, 
Okay, now I'm gonna empty that. And now let's go back in. We go to test EP and let's see what that looks like exactly as we saved it. Um, that's at minus 18 dB, plus 18, chorus and everything switched and tremolo switched off and we're in business. So what's the point of this whole exercise? Well, it's to save you time. So if you have a set of plugins that you use all the time, save them together as a preset channel strip setting ready for use whenever you're creating or mixing. Hopefully this has made sense and hopefully you would have benefited from this video. As usual, there's loads more that I've done before in my previous videos and there's gonna be loads more to come. I'll be back real soon. This is Dr. Deuce, peace.